Hello, my name is Brenda. This video is coming to you from my channel, Bella's Artisanal Apothecary. Um, this video is different from any others that you'll see on my channel. And I'm sorry, there's glare, there's shadows. Um, I look like crap. This video is basically me begging anyone watching this video to have a little bit of compassion. I have been posting my friend's GoFundMe campaign on my Facebook, on my TikTok, on my Facebook business page, Instagram. I have sent it via any way possible. My friend, her name is Darlette Godman. She had a stroke. She's been in the hospital going on almost three weeks now and um, she was living in a motel room with two other adults, one mentally handicapped and three animals with just two full-size beds. She was attacked by the mentally ill young man and that in combination with her medical Ill, um, illnesses basically came to a crashing halt when she had a stroke on the 19th of November. So hit in the head because she was trying to stop this kid from throwing eggs at his mother. Um, they got into it because she tried to stop him. Enough said about that. Oh, and let's not forget that the dogs bit her arms to smithereens because the adults were fighting, the dogs started fighting. Again, I'm begging, 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 begging at this point. I have seen campaigns for musicians, for example, bands that are still touring and people are donating hand over fist and I get that you love that person. I get that you don't know my friend, but in her situation being indigent, she doesn't have anything. I didn't know how bad the situation was. I have put money that I could not afford to spend trying to help her out. And the little bit that we have received has been used for clothing, shoes, slippers, toiletries, things that she needed immediately. Um, I'm begging for help. Her name is Darlette Godman. I'm pinning the GoFundMe that I created below. I also created an Amazon wish list. Now, mind you, this person, when she got taken to the hospital in the ambulance, she was wearing a pair of pajama pants and a shirt. No bra, no underwear at all. No socks, no shoes. And the little bit of items that were given to us that are her property, there were no shoes. So the people that she was living with, I don't know what they did, what the hell they did with her stuff. But it's just a small amount of things that we were able to get that belonged to her. Mainly paperwork little craft things that she had laying around, a couple of blankets, um, a few pieces of clothes. And I was horrified when I saw the clothes. I mean, we're talking about four, sorry, a call was coming in, four pairs of shorts, one had to be thrown away, about eight t-shirts, three of them had to be thrown away because they had stains. Underwear had to be thrown away because they don't fit her anymore. Um, plenty of socks, but she needs diabetic socks. Um, so again, the little bit of money that we've received in the GoFundMe, I used it to buy her clothing. She is now in rehab because her stroke was on the right side of her body, my right side, as I'm pointing. Um medicine ball that the hospital doesn't even offer 
for therapy. They do balloons and feathers. So I got her a medicine ball to squeeze, help with her trying to get that um, sensation back, something to help. I've done applications for food stamps. That's going to take a while. I've done applications. I did the open enrollment for her. Um, and when I did that, it says that she may qualify for Medicaid. Unfortunately, here in the state of Georgia, they'll let you wait over a month before they send you a decision. And then when you call constantly, they treat you like shit. So I am her power of attorney. I've had to put a lot of my stuff on hold trying to help her because I'd like to think that I'm a nice person. Um, bought her shoes so that she can walk in her physical therapy or the, the whole point of it is try to get her to walk on her own again. We don't know how much she'll regain. Um, I did set the GoFundMe up for a certain amount um, I was trying to go back to the hospital today. I've gone at least four times this week. It's a half an hour drive each way, and that's depending on the traffic. Um, you know, I have my own personal things that I have to do. And um, I'm just so saddened by how one gets treated when trying to get help for somebody that really, really needs it. This lady is a very hyper and active person until the stroke. It doesn't phase her to do any type of work. She was working as an oil technician. In other words, a place where you take your car and get your oil changed. So now I'm dealing with the HR to see what we could do with her current um, benefits because she doesn't have money to pay for the premiums. Um, so I'm trying every which way possible. I keep on looking down because I'm looking at myself and not at the camera, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to end the video now by saying, please, please, please share this video. Uh, you'll see uh, my Facebook business page has where I've put the GoFundMe. You'll see on TikTok the same name. Um, research me, please, please, please. Um, and I know I say a lot of ums, but I, I, I need everybody's help to help her. She doesn't even have any furniture. Um, I will be taking her in until I can get her into a 55 and over, uh, apartment facility, apartment complex. There's a few popping up here and there in Lawrenceville, but that doesn't guarantee that she'll get it. But I need everybody's help. Um, I even researched a place that does furniture donations for people that need it. And it seems like it's going to be a pain in the ass to even get that. Um, a small dresser, a nightstand um, is basically all I really need for her. Because I have a bed for her already. Um, but yes, please. Please, please, please. I'm holding the phone, but I am praying with this one hand that this video helps to gain the momentum, the momentum that we need for her GoFundMe page. Please, and thank you.